Hello there, and welcome to the Endcast. My bad. Episode number 34, and this is... Hey, my name is Zach. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't present you. So, uh, this is my buddy Zach. He's from Vegas. True vegan? Vegas, born and raised. <laughs> um, here visiting the weekend. I'm grateful to have be invited on Juan's... What do you, what do you, what does everyone call you? Uh, Richard or Enwardo? Enwardo's show today. And um, have a good conversation. I gave him the news. I actually got back from Guatemala for a whole week. That's why this episode's coming out Friday instead of Thursday. Um, but yeah, I didn't read up much on my... I did just sped read through them. And I actually sent the news to Zach. And less than 12 hours for him to um, you know get the grip on things. And then I invited him. So yeah, there's that. Uh, but anyway, for new people... We're going to do 15, 20 minutes tops, usually it's 30 minutes, but for today we're going to keep it short because uh, we have stuff to do and I just got back. Uh, we'll do 10, 5 to 10 minutes on each section and then call it day. So we talk about tech, video games, and video, uh, games we played. You play video games still? I do a little bit. Okay, <laughs> so he'll be able to add something in there. And then other news, which some people will know. We usually do um, complicated stuff or whatever, but we'll see what it comes because we don't have much time. We're going to talk about it? Yeah, we can talk about it. <laughs> we'll <laughs> talk about it later. Uh, we'll talk about it later. We'll try to speed through this and see what we talk about. Uh, so let's start with a Tesla article. The first one, Tesla's driving visualization will render traffic cones to optimize safety by Tesla Ratty. For real, who names their news outlet Tesla Ratty? I have no clue. That's like in that's like putting all your eggs in one basket. Tesla ready. But anyway, they reported that apparently it'll be able to detect the Tesla will detect when there's cones and you won't see the strip and it won't show you that lane on the heads up display on the not the heads up display, the HUD of your vehicle when it's autopilot engaged or just you're casually driving. Which I think is just cool. The reason why I put it up there is cuz I like to bring attention to Tesla's autopilot that I read this thing and I agree with it. Tesla's autopilot will save countless lives, but first some have to be lost. Have to be lost. People have died. <laughs> I saw some I've seen some videos where Tesla just mistakes and you can go off off the side of a mountain and all sorts of crazy things. And uh I mean I'm all for the autopilot. I was driving up here from Vegas, you know, stop and go traffic on the highway. And I'm like, that's a perfect time for autopilot. I don't have to deal with that crap. And, um, but with that being said, when you go autopilot, I feel like it's everyone has to go autopilot or nothing. That's how I see it moving forward. And then all the truckers will lose their jobs. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's like, oh, by the way, the show is casual. I didn't tell you this. So we just kind of chill whatever drops in your head. I think, yeah, they're definitely the truck, truck drivers, I feel for them. It's like, I think that's going to come before fast food employees with, like, automation and food. Definitely truck drivers are going to go first. Maybe they'll still be there in Alaska in some crazy conditions. Yeah. I don't know. I can see, what, like, they'll need them here and there, but once, like you said, once to the point, I believe also that autopilot, this is just the first step. Some cars being, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter how good that one car is, you need the network. You need them to be able to talk to each other. Uh, which humans can't do really like maybe you flash twice is like maybe that sometimes means there's a cop mm -hmm. in Guatemala if you flash once and they're like trying to get into your lane that means don't get in I'm not gonna stop or give you any head room or and if you do it twice it means get in quick I'm gonna leave you like a five second lead or whatever I don't know if that's official thing I, I get scared um, in Vegas you just hear all sorts of crazy things you see someone driving that had no headlights I will not flash my headlights or do anything to them because <laughs> I, you know there's some gangs out there and they they if you flash them I, I've just heard people where they they go after them chase them and shoot them I don't like it so I trust machines more than I trust <laughs> people so I'm all for this autopilot you know this you know seeing cones you know whatever here is cool I think this is this is definitely the future where everything's going what do you think of like I've seen the concept of the road talking to the auto pilot vehicles i don't see that happening like a system where the road will actually communicate and tell the conditions of itself to the vehicles i see the cars communicating because i feel like it's private industries building these cars but the roads are maintained by the government and i feel like the government is so slow 
at doing anything. <laughs> Even they can't even maintain the, the roads right now. There's potholes, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that everywhere. We have technology in it. I don't trust it. That's me. I agree. No, I agree with you, actually. I didn't think about that. I thought of it like funding. It was too expensive, but you're right. If It is, in the United States at least, it is government. Yes. Run, so. It's a private road, maybe. Yeah, private roads. Like Guatemala is starting to build lots and tons of uh, private roads. Mm -hmm. uh, they're because they're, they're much better. They're brand new and everything. And so they don't do it. What, babe? My wallet. My babe wants my wallet, people. I'm not going to talk, so I'm going to have to edit and use extra time. But there we go. Oh, that was a good one. Thanks. <laughs> so anyway, people, that's what's it. Let us know in the comments what you think. What's the future of autopilot? Are we seeing it? Are you with it? Are you against it? Don't take my guns, don't take my car <laughs> attitude. <laughs> don't take my driving. Um, anyway, I think we can leave it there with autopilots. You good? Yeah, I'm good there. Okay, so this is the other thing. The, the thing that... Okay, so I don't know, Zach, if you follow like news articles about technology often. China? China. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, people, so when Apple does something, they screw up. There's Forbes, Business Insider, Bloomberg, and other bunch of news sites that will just like, <laughs> like thirsty dogs grab mm -hmm. onto them and try to milk as many articles as they can. When someone else does it, for example, like I, Samsung. Yeah, I didn't put the article here, but you heard about Samsung. Like, you can apply a screen protector on their Samsung S10, which is you know latest besides the Note 10. Uh, it came out last this spring. You put a screen protector plus some type of gel that you can buy off eBay forgot which type it was. I don't want to put it out there and you can look it up if you want to. And then you can actually put your finger in and unlock the phone on the touch sensor because it's sonar based and it'll unlock the phone even if it's not your phone. Even if your fingerprint's not in the phone, it'll unlock it. So you need a screen protector, you put a gel and you can get anyone's phone? Yeah. An S10, yeah. That, some woman said that apparently how she found out she just applied the screen protector to her husband's phone if I remember right. And for some reason, I don't know why the article, like, where she got the gel from, she had it in her finger. And she was just curious, she put it on it, and it unlocked her husband's phone. This is the one where it's underneath the screen? Yeah. The, yeah, it's like a sonar-based yeah. one or whatever. It sends light or sound, either, depends, and then it'll bounce back. And so... I haven't heard about it. Yeah, it just happened uh, Wednesday, I think, or something. But you that haven't heard about news. it. That doesn't hit the news. It doesn't. Like, people on Twitter, the tech nerds that I follow, the big YouTube stars, where, like, they all retweeted it, this article, because they said, like, this just points to the reality that if Apple, if it were Apple with Face ID or even their Touch ID, it'd be all over the place. It'd be breaking news. Mm -hmm. But it's Samsung, so who cares? <laughs> kind they, of attitude. They definitely do have a pass. You know, thinking about it now, it's because Apple owns, I think, 30% of the market this year. They're, they're steadily coming down. But that being said, they only have one model. iPhone, let's just yeah. say the 10. You go to Android, they own maybe 70% of the market. There's like a thousand different phones you can have. Yep. So if that 30% has a problem, 30% of the, all the phones would be screwed up. Yeah, yeah they're right. I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about it. And Apple is definitely, I think it's one of the highest you know, profiting companies here in America. You know, the last year they made... 75% of all mobile profits. So the mobile market. Like they own 30% of it. The apps and probably a little less. No, like just sales and when it comes to mobile sales like uh, apps mm -hmm. um um hardware, so software and hardware, they brought in 75% of the entire world's worth of uh income, revenue when it comes to mobile sales. Mm -hmm. But they only own 30% or less of the market itself. I think if like Every dollar you spend on the App Store, they keep like thirty percent. That is some high number. Yeah, it's thirty percent. Is it thirty? That's that's a freaking ton. Yeah, and they say like the average iOS user will spend one and a half mm -hmm. to two times more than the Android user. I see it. It's <laughs> easy. And like thirty percent, I still think is quite high, honestly. For mm -hmm. what you do is just they run the store, but. I mean, I still believe... They provide the whole marketplace, I guess. I still not in favor of, there we go, political, of Elizabeth Warren trying to... Is it Elizabeth Warren? What's the one that do? wants to split big companies? Democrat? Oh, split the big tech companies like yeah. Google, Facebook? Yeah, and she she said it out. I think she actually That's went right. out and she said, I do not want... I will... Uh, I don't believe that Apple should run the, the store, the, the digital store that 
the only store you can have on your phone. Mm-hmm. So she wants to split the App Store and Apple. No, I'm not for that. <laughs> I I just want, I want the government to stay out of Apple. I mean, if someone wants to take Apple down, they just have to build a better marketplace or a better phone. I agree. I think right now, definitely, I guess we could have a third. Like, you know, there was Windows phones. but Those that's like garbage. <laughs> trash. <laughs> exactly. Like, the reason it's not here, because it sucks. Uh-huh. And then we have Android and Apple, and Android has such a variety in of itself that I mm-hmm. feel like it, it it shoots at Apple from all angles, and it keeps them on their toes. I know when, like, Fortnite, when it came to mobile, is at Apple first, for a yeah. couple months before it became the Android. Yeah. Because, you know, bringing back earlier, there's so many models they can take in. When they make it for iOS, they only make it for a couple things and you're ready to party. Yeah, and it's it runs well. It'll look well on that thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, like, I'm an Apple believer. <laughs> Same here. But I do believe we need, like you said, competition mm-hmm. to keep it from going. Because Apple, in its way, if Android were to disappear like this tomorrow, That's I'd say sick. Apple's a monopoly. Mm-hmm. They would own everything about your phone. You couldn't go anywhere. And so definitely I, I want Google, I want Samsung, all these things to exist, but I don't believe in splitting them with the government and being like, this goes there and that. Because no. I don't think they're monopoly level yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why Eduardo is supporting Trump. <laughs> For Spanish viewers out there, just uh, let you know. <laughs> you know the truth, people. You know it. <laughs> I'll see who's the real fan yeah. here from who you knows? Know, just, someone's one person's gonna listen to this podcast. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe this guy. Blocking him yeah. and reporting him, building a wall around him. <laughs> uh let's move to the Apple TV real quick thingy. It's just something I found interesting. Right behind, so you'll see the picture there. Uh, Someone this year, this Apple TV came out back on the iPhone ten. And no one found this out till this year, apparently. It had a lightning port in the back on the ethernet inside the ethernet port which means you can so the prior models had USB C or USB micro or mm-hmm. micro USB but this one didn't so Apple, everyone was kind of like what Apple and their locked system but no it's under the ethernet port for diagnostics and what I so, was just mind blown <laughs> but the old I, I personally never owned Apple TV old Apple TV had lightning the new Apple 4k doesn't it's like, yeah, they removed Until the now. port. So, like, it was just HDMI, and the reason why you would do... Um, but what do you need? It just connects to your TV, which is HDMI. So that's why I also was kind of like, okay, I can see why Apple was like, simplify the experience, just get rid of mm-hmm. it. The only reason why you would need to access a port like that is if you're a developer. But the fact that no one found out that there was a port on the back till... That's over two years now. The 4K's been out that long? Yeah. <laughs> but like who's gonna go in there and pry into it? I mean I'm looking at this picture now and like you gotta I don't know who's putting their scissors into this thing <laughs> oh it's probably it's not with ethernet it's not working I'm gonna put my scissors in there and see if I can like uh, get it just on just see what's going on uh, but yeah people I don't know what's up with that but apparently they say you could jailbreak it so you know it means hacking for people that don't know and uh, being able to do different make it an android-ish way so you could mod it and all that stuff but they say don't get to your hopes up. It's it could just not be that, but we'll see. We'll see if they hack that Apple TV. Apple makes makes it in a way so that you can't. So Apple TV 4K was the first provider in the iTunes Store that made it so you could have 4K upgrades for free on your prior purchases. They were the only ones who did that. That's a good idea. And it was because it was a uh, it was unhackable. And eventually, I think at the beginning of this year or end of last year, they start surfing on the internet, the 4K versions of Apple movies. Mm -hmm. So someone's hacked it. So I don't think this is the first time we found this port. I think it's just the first that got the headlines. Uh, Real quick, people, on Google Maps, just letting you know, on the Verge article, it says you'll be able to report speed traps and traffics like you do on Waze. As you know, as you you might not be aware, Waze and Google are the same company. They, They are? Yeah, Google owns Waze. Then what, why are they trying to do this? They're trying to bring Waze features into Google. And get rid of Waze? And I think I think eventually they might. But the thing is, Waze is too social. And they want to make Google accessible. Waze is kind of a nick picky. It takes... You can't really get your grandma to use Waze efficiently. I can't get myself to use Waze. <laughs> I don't like, like all the stupid points. I'll drive 100 miles and I'll get a, like some star or something. Yeah, it's like... it's it Definitely, it's too complex to 
I mean, that's why I use Apple. I'm a simple guy. Yeah, like <laughs> that's why I think Google doesn't want to add too many things, but they're starting to add little ones, mm -hmm. which I'm not surprised. But still, hopefully they keep it that way because I don't like to use Waze often. It's too much. Mm -hmm. You're, um, Apple, you're Apple Map user too. Yeah. I think Apple Maps, it doesn't do speed traps. It does, in the update, mm -hmm. I noticed it says construction. Yeah. I don't know. No, the Apple Maps, is, it's definitely grown to the point that I actually think is almost as good as Google Maps. Still not as good, I'd say, but mm -hmm. not enough at a point that I want to need it. It's like, I don't need some of the Google stuff. Um, third world, though, like Guatemala, you can't use Apple Maps. Only ways are Google Maps. And that's it. So definitely there's that point. Mexico, I don't know how Apple Maps is in Mexico. I need to ask my wife. Uh, people, look look at that thing, dude. The article that says uh, adding a USB-A or USB-C port to the power outlet in your home is only 23 bucks. For the whole home? Yeah. No, not the whole home. For <laughs> one plug? Yeah. That's not worth it. Uh, I'd like... I don't know why you would plug a USB to your outlet. <laughs> Was this new? Apparently. It's on Amazon. You can buy it. Oh, it says twenty dollars if you want. It's probably lower than link. I, this is random. I'm back back on that whole maps thing. Okay. I, I was looking at Google Maps, and on Google Maps, if you look, if you zoom out to see America, and you look at the Southwest, like Nevada, Arizona, Utah, it's a desert. A very obvious, very, very dead. And then when I'm going to Apple Maps, I pull it back. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments later. But when I pull it back. It's a lot more green. The whole country looks way greener than Google Maps. I think Maps. you're right. I was looking at it. I was like, what the freak is happening? <laughs> I know Vegas is not this green. Google Maps is accurate. I I'm just curious, anyone looking at maps, um, why it's more green. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I did it right here. Arizona, Utah, and Colorado has this green. It's dark mode now, but it's still a green tint to it. And then if you go to what's like Iowa or Nebraska, it's complete no green. Yeah, I, I'm just curious. Oh, it's national parks. Yeah, look it up. I don't know. I think it's uh, Zion's National Park is green. Zion's Zion's green. like a little green. I mean, but it's mostly dead. Grand Canyon. That's dead. <laughs> That's dead. <laughs> it is green here though. Yeah. So I think it's based on a national park. Why would it? I don't know. Interesting. Something to look into. Yeah. Just jumping in there. Uh, what do you think? Did you ever have a razor? A flip phone razor? No, the I wasn't that cool kid to have that. I had a <laughs> cricket phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> the razor uh, was way popular in Latin America, and apparently Motorola made an invitation for November that they're gonna show us the new revolutionary foldable razor. The razor. So it'll be a foldable. The cool phone. people had it. Yeah, flips Definitely. were cool. I had the original, and I had the second one. Mm -hmm. The razors, where it was at? I remember there was a phone called the Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> then the T-Mobile side. And they gave it to me in too. school. The teacher had chocolate. Oh, man. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. I mean, the razor. I don't see much people buying it. Yeah. I just don't see much people straying off Android. It's pro it will probably be Android based. Yeah, I think it? it'll be. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about flip phone? I, uh, I haven't asked you. I, I mean, foldable phones. What do you think about I think it's trash. Why would anyone need a foldable phone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. I think it's cool. I mean, let's all right, let's innovate here, guys. But me, I'm like, I don't see anything. Why I'd ever need a foldable phone <laughs> to be its own case? <laughs> I don't get it. And I know the. I think they fixed all the problems with Samsung, but I think the screen still sucks. It's like a plastic. It's plastic. Yeah, it's a plastic. I don't want to feel that. So there's two foldable ones. There's a plastic model where the whole screen's going to fold in one piece. because It's one an piece OLED? Of and it's OLED. Yep. Or it'll be a two piece of glass that fold into a mechanism with a crack in the middle. That's but the only two ways it? we have it. Just so you can have a big phone? Yeah, that's pretty much it. That, that's the way with me. I'm actually on the side of like, I think it's cool to have, so why not just go ahead and do it? Because yeah. it's innovation. But becoming mainstream i'm like i don't see it because i like my tablet which is big and then i like to have a portable phone that's small and then yeah, you can call it the one and one but the compromises i feel like at least right now is too much mm -hmm. that plastic i don't like the plastic feeling on my screen i like glass no and that's then such a first world problem <laughs> but yeah, i agree i ha it has to be a glass feeling <laughs> I can't afford. I, I don't like to buy a two thousand yeah. dollar plastic screen folding phone 
Well, I don't I mean <laughs> on the foldable phones. I just don't see it going that way in in the near future. I agree. I think it'll be a while. Once it's like glass, but I don't think I don't know. We're gonna make glass. If the crack could be like so imperceivable that it's actually two pieces of glass, but it's so tiny you can't tell. It's yeah, that you really can't tell it. Then maybe then yeah, it'd be fine. Foldable, whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Speaking about phones. Was it, is it pronounced Huawei? Huawei. Huawei? Yeah. Aren't they killing it in the Chinese market? Like, I heard their phones are pretty killer. Yeah, their specs for the price, it's good. Are they still banned here in yeah. America? After what happened in Canada? Yeah, like the whole, and the whole NSA and uh, CIA and uh, some other divisions saying that there's cause that the phone might actually be uh, eavesdrop, it. have a back door. You know what? And I heard they was it TikTok, the social media stuff? That's owned by a Chinese company, and they just get tons of free data from us. Oh, I can see that. Mm -hmm. You remember that face show app that would make you look that old? Russia? I think it was a Russian, yeah, it was a Russian-based uh, developer. Uh, get all our faces. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, that's why I, like, I downloaded it, but before I used it, I was like, I just thought to myself, privacy implications. What is this data? Is it doing it on my device? Is it lo is it local or does it upload it to somewhere? That's it when I Googled to. it and it was uploading to a server. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, nah, I don't, I don't care. I don't need to look old. <laughs> <laughs> and then my wife comes to a room like an hour later. And she's like, done. look at my picture, how old I look. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeding into the machine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, that was the article that we I skipped. Uh, just above, it was um, Apple denies it sends everyone's browser data to Chinese company. So the thing is, they caught some developers caught that Safari to check if a f website's fraudulent or it's a bad website. Uh, if it can't confirm it by itself in its database, it'll ask Google. And then they found out that China, in China, it was asking Tencent, which is a company that's huge. They even have, they do most they did mostly video games, but now they do insurance, and they do. Um, car insurance they do life insurance here in america no in china mm. they do facebook there the, they, they own the second largest i think or the largest wechat in china social media and i mean they're huge they're just as important or huge as huawei is mm -hmm. but they own everything they're opening their own disneyland for esports this guy tencent the company tencent games i'll show you wikipedia page they so do so much people are saying safari is selling to and tencent. so they found that the data someone found that the phone would um, whenever it couldn't confirm if a website was legitimate, it would either ask Google for help to be like, hey, is this website a fraud website? And then they found that it would send it somewhere else, and that was Tencent. Mm -hmm. And so that bring us Spark, and then further look into it, they found that, that it's actually only, uh, it is privatized, so it's randomized whenever it does that. But the fact that it still sends it, it's a little weird. It does get your IP address, so that's the one thing that people were not happy with. But Apple confirmed that it is only China's. If your region is in Asia or like China, it'll send it to Tencent mm -hmm. and Google. But if it's only in the U.S., it won't send it to Tencent. And I believe it's just Apple, you know, making their way to keep the Chinese government happy. Yeah, because that's like the second biggest economy in the world is over there. Exactly. The class is ex it's not exploding anymore. I think it's starting to slow yeah, down. Yeah, slow down. Yeah. What do you think of... You've heard much about the Hong Kong protests? The Hong Kong pro I know about it, and I've heard about the whole LeBron James thing. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron James! <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know enough to give my opinion. I don't, I don't know enough. All I know is I don't want to go there at this time. Okay, so, so like, just to give you a little bit of context, and then, like I've said in that past episode, I actually told the viewers to like, when you don't know something more than 50%, probably hold off until you do and then go on the internet and share mm -hmm. it with people like, what do you guys think? Don't start and be like, I don't know, what do you guys think? And you'll get thrown crap and all this <laughs> stuff at you and you'll be worse than when you started. Mm -hmm. But in Hong Kong, they're fighting for democracy. They want to be independent from China. They don't want to be part of the communist government. Because they were a colony of Britain. No. And they were sold. Wait, I want to say they were given back to China. But yeah. they were separate entities for a little bit. And mm -hmm. now they want to become one again. And so China wants to take them back. And I wouldn't want to be taken back. Yeah, exactly. They don't want to. And they want to have their autonomy. But uh, so they're doing lots and tons of protests. And 
one thing that happened was there was an app that would be kind of like Waze. It was would, WeChat? No, it was a, just a separate app that would take you to a website. It was just a, a website in an app. So you could visit it by typing the URL and just going to it. But the app worked a little better and easier. And so what Apple did recently is they removed the app from the App Store. Same as VPN apps. They're not in China. You can't download a VPN app. Um, and the reason why Apple did it said was at first they pulled it off. They pulled it out of the App Store. And then people complained and said that's helping the protesters mark kind of like ways. There's a cop here. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. Or we're going to go through here and stuff. It would help to speed traps and whatnot uh, for protesters. And then Apple took it out. People complained. Apple re-uploaded it. They said, okay, we can have it. And then the Chinese a numbers, it's kind of like if Fox News, in a sense, or mm -hmm. CNN, they said Apple's messing with the Chinese government's wishes. And so that's a dangerous game to play. They said in a newscast as a report. But that news network is run by the Chinese government so it's kind of an indirect saying not directly hey Apple we don't want mm -hmm. you doing that they said it hey tell them indirectly and Apple removed the app after that and cited it was actually being used for malicious reasons and so we don't allow that stuff and that's all Apple said and so Apple's getting heat for removing it dude everyone's getting heat and it puts them in a bind because again they're such a big market and you want to sell to them um but, you know, thinking about it, because we're so big, I mean, America, we're number one. For now, I, I think China's going to overtake us sometime. Man, I don't it was know. Nest, I've heard reports that it was, yeah, the next five, ten years it was supposed to. That would be crazy. But they're just so involved. I mean, I see Chinese um, producers in our movies. Um, they're making the music. Yeah. They're so involved in everything now. My first thing when I hear China is I don't trust it. <laughs> like, if I see a man in China, I don't think good quality. Um, but I think I've, maybe I have to change to trust them a little more, but as long as they're like a communism government, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, I don't like communism. Like, I don't have anything. I trust Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything against the, the Nothing people. Nothing the Chinese people. It's the government. Yeah, it's the government. I, I'm not in for communism. Mm -hmm. uh, no, thank you. You know what leads to communism? Socialism is the next step. <laughs> we won't go on there. We won't go on there every day. We're, getting, we're cutting close on time. I think we already went over a little bit. Yeah, we'll cut it off in two minutes, people, real quick. Because uh, it'll be a 30-minute episode anyway. So two minutes and no more. Uh, video games real quick. Let's, I'll just bombard them, okay? Can okay. I just shoot them out? I'll just shoot them out, okay? Microsoft X Cloud for people that want to preview. Their, the invites are coming out. If you signed up on their website, you can still do it. It's only Android, sadly. Uh, but you can get an invite. You do need um, a cell phone provider or Wi-Fi with 10 megabits uh, down. And, yeah, you can play four or five titles. You can look them up online, okay? It's called xCloud. The other thing is X, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare's file size is going to be huge. If you read the article, mm -hmm. it was originally, it says that apparently approximately on the Xbox One is going to be 137 gigs. And on the PC, I think it was reported 175 uh, and then, so yeah, you're looking at about uh, one terabyte, so you're looking at almost a quarter of your download. That's without any extra DLC that they're going to come out with. That's going to be free. That's yeah. That's what they say. They say it'll be free at first. They're not going to do loot boxes too. They swear. They're like praying. I don't know. They're like cutting their veins saying, we're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm not going to be surprised if they still do it. But there's still technically paywalls because only PlayStation gets that one mode. Oh, yeah, two weeks, a week or two in bands. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, and then, oh, you know, that's, yeah, DLC gets released a week or two early on PlayStation, plus a whole year exclusivity for Spec Ops. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. And then when I saw that's them a, a year, that's terrible. That's kind of like saying, the li so Call of Duty usually, you know, lives a year or two. Mm -hmm. Well, a year until the new one comes out. That's kind of like saying, you don't get to do something until for your dead. entire lifespan. <laughs> 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 or you can do it for the last. Two, three years of your life when you're 80. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was weird. Um, but anyway, people, let us know what you think. If you think they're going to do microtransactions eventually, they say they'll have a battle pass, which I think originally they said they it did? wouldn't. But now it will, and it'll be free. The battle pass will be free. Yeah, they say it'll be free. That's how you're going to get your stuff. So it's the story changes every time. <laughs> so, somewhere along the line, I would think about it. A video game was $60 like 10 years ago. Inflation costs are way more expensive. 
they make most of their money not through us buying the game, but through the in-game transactions. Yeah. If we if we don't buy anything in the game, they're missing out on so much money. Somewhere, I don't know, the loot boxes, where it's going to come a couple months or whatever, they have to put it. I agree. I think now the economy, how things work, microtransactions have to be in your game. Mm-hmm. What I do like, though, what I do not like is the random loot boxes. Like, if I see a skin or an item... i just buy it outright. Yeah, like, if, I, if they're going to charge me $10 for a skin, sure. But as long as I get the skin, I'm okay. I'll no, pay $10. Not for like it. a slot machine. Yeah, it's like it. to, to 20% chance yeah. you'll get it. <laughs> and it, it increases by the amount of times you buy it. It's like, no. Nah. Mm-hmm. Just charge me 10 I I know it's ridiculous for a skin, but just do it and I'll pay for it. Yeah. I think that's... I don't want to say that's the way to go, but it still sucks. <laughs> I think, you know, buy a video game, you should get They should charge just 80 or $100 for a video game and say you'll never have to pay for DLC. <sighs> but would what I pay for an $80 game? <laughs> There's the problem. I don't know. Even $60, I'm like, that's still... Like, <laughs> I know, it's like, it's a hard... The economy's hard. Yeah. Trump next year will fix it. Trump 2020. <laughs> and then Hulu Originals and Xbox One. Hulu is 4K now, finally. Oh, there's the article if people want to read it. They say won't have any kind of supply drop or loot box. Fortnite had a black hole. I was in Guatemala when I saw it. and I saw the video. That was cool. Yeah, the, cool, the Fortnite intense. black hole was legit. I actually erased, uh, I deleted it, and I redownloaded it just for that event. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now it's actually season, chapter two of the season in Fortnite is back. And actually, I don't... Is it a stay in full swing, it. you think? If it's going to stay? This is my... I played Apex and then um, Apex Legends. And I loved the first map. And when they got rid of it and got the new map, maybe you guys feel different. But when I saw the new map, I just... Because it's so unfamiliar or so familiar with the other one, I didn't want to play it. Oh. That was me. I don't okay. know if I want to say when they get super, you know, excited to play a new map. Yeah, grind me, again. I just like, eh, there's too much. I already invested so much time in the old map. I don't want to do it all again. Okay. That's yeah. the way I felt. I don't know how you feel. Share it around, people. I haven't even played the new map. Play, I deleted like Fortnite. Apex. Would you be excited to play a brand new map? I mean, you don't really know. You haven't played it yet. Yeah, I haven't played it. And, but I quit Fortnite, yeah, after uh, the, season 10. I didn't play it. I played the first week and then I quit season 10 and so yeah oh, i played for, i played from seven till season eight halfway through then i quit and i started again at nine did the entire thing and then season 10 i quit again mm-hmm. so i did like a season and a half but let us know people if you like chapter two i think the map by itself won't be enough to keep it going i think they're gonna have to do some gameplay tweaks but then again it is fortnite and i don't know why the fetch it keeps going like they're smart it just grows. Like they added Batman. I saw the Batman. That was that was cool. That was like yeah. That's the thing. They do so little things here so fast that someone that plays other video games like me, I just can't keep up because I'm like okay that's cool but I'm currently playing this. I'll wait there and then the Batman thing gets removed. The black hole happens and I'm like, I was in the middle yeah. of like coming back and now there's a black hole and a new <laughs> map. It, it can't get overwhelming. Me personally, I I'm not going back. Okay. I haven't played seriously since season three. <laughs> He does, people. <laughs> Let us know what you think of it. What do you think of the map? And uh, I think I'm. A, we should leave it there. Uh, twenty. The article, the last one, was the top brands in the world. These are the 20 most valuable brands in the world, according to Business, Business Insider. Guess which one's number one? Apple. Yeah. Guess which one's number two? I don't know. Google. Yep. Three? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> and then Microsoft, the Coca-Cola, Samsung. Yeah, then they're, they're, I'm seeing a stupid full form. I don't like it. <laughs> I was surprised BMW was up there, like above. Um, well, Toyota's number stuff. one. Oh yeah, Toyota's above uh, IBM and Mercedes, of course. Like Toyota's everywhere. Yeah, I would buy a Toyota any day over BMW. Yeah, I think Toyota definitely has their. Even they're like, I think Toyota's also falls in the Lexus brand. Yep. Lexus are nice. McDonald's is there too. I'm a big supporter of them. <laughs> McDonald's, dude. I like only this article though. And definitely you can see, I believe there is a bias. Or you could tell that the article was written away to infuriate people. It says, number one, Apple. Apple designs and sells the most popular mobile phones and computers in the world. But it is misspelled, by the way. Word. It says word. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> As well as various other consumer electronics. I think that sparked uh, some people. But I think it's well written, though. I liked it. 
what we what do we need to do to get Apple to make their crap here in the U.S. You want them to make it in the U.S. Oh man, no, we we I don't want to go into that. We no, we don't have enough time. Ah uh, yeah, it's thirty five minutes yeah. in. But just say yes or no. What? We won't debate. Do you want them to make it in the yeah, U.S.? Yeah, I want to make them in the U.S. I want Same here. a lot of things to make in the U.S. I would like them assembled. Uh, not made. Assembled. Assembled. Yeah, the, the parts come from everywhere. Like the, the glass is actually California-based. The, the glass, glass is cornering glass is from the U.S. It's not Gorilla Glass anymore? It is. And that is U.S. And so, mm-hmm. they, and so I was surprised by that, too. But definitely, I agree. I well, agree. just so like our iPhones. I know I've heard, I've read stories about those the Chinese people jumping out of their buildings to kill themselves. There's nets to catch them. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Obviously, I don't know. They, they have such a high profit profit margin on the phones right now. And that's true. Only the new one, I've read reports that it costs, without research and development, it costs 350 to $400 to make. No way. Is it because the OLED they're buying from Samsung is so pricey? I think so, too. I think that's why Apple is eventually going to make their own. Because mm-hmm. the, their chips in these things... Like, the iPad is just as good as this chip and this one. And so I think they're going to eventually also... Look, the, the plans is they'll eventually stop buying from Intel. And Apple's just make their own thing. When they're the they, owner wait, of everything... Like, like, the chips from Apple, they don't... I thought they make it in-house. Yeah, they make it in-house. So, like, everything is everything's becoming in-house. Mm-hmm. So I believe they could easily eventually just assemble it here in the U.S. Because all the parts just compile them in here. Yeah. But... I don't, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Yeah, I don't know if the... I've read so many reports of people, like, you know, they say it wouldn't be that more expensive. Like a hundred bucks more? Yeah, they'd say it'd just be a hundred more. And for me, I'd be like, okay, a hundred more made here, I'm down, like, whatever. I mean, it, it fits the biggest... Co- is this in the world? Biggest company in the world. And we're going to keep all the money here. I'm all for that. <laughs> Same here. Let us know if you're out <laughs> there and you're like, I'm... Not, Blocked. Yeah, blocked. Let, <laughs> Disliked. <laughs> I, I'm here to make an art and keep America number one. So we can help you. Yes. <laughs> if, if your neighbor wins, you win because there's more money floating around. Your house will keep raising up. They'll keep building houses. Yeah, yeah. That's how I see it. It's a big circle. So I wanted to stay here as much as we can. You have it there, people. Apple made in the assemble in the U.S. Yes, twenty twenty imported materials. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, people. Thanks for coming. Uh, this is the endcast, and this was Zach, and me, Richard, and Wardo, and we'll keep you all in touch for the next episode. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. Peace out. <laughs>